welcome to CU Weekly. My name is Brene Hill, and we're gonna get started with this week's activity, the University Theater, which is located on the Suites on Main North. Right in the home of our university student lies our very first Claring University Theater. The Clearing University Theater is open to students and the community. It's a 180-80-seat theater. The theater shows second-run films after the release, but before DVD availability, as well as classics, documentaries, and films addressing social issues. Just right here, we come before the movie. The movie starts at 7 and 10. Um, a lot of people wait until right before the movie starts, and then we get a rush, and some people miss the beginning of the movie. So I suggest coming 10 or so minutes early, but you can purchase tickets right at the counter. Um, students are free, adults $4, children $2. This weekend, the theater will be hosting Dark Places, Sean the Sheep, and Straight Outta Compton. Sure, I look cute now, but when my owner lost his job, it was rough. I was living on the street, and one night, me and this Cocker Spaniel got into it so bad, I wound up looking like an ice cream cone. I cried a little bit, but thankfully I got rescued, so I'm running, I'm jumping, all back to my old self, and I'm ready to give unconditional love, even if you put a lampshade on my head. They'll test you. Try to break your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm. Just wait. And move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. Hi, I'm Cammie McGee. Right now I'm in the basement of Becker Hall with someone who works down here daily. Communications professor, Dr. Lacey Fulton. She works with students every day, not only to teach, but also to create content for Eagle Media. Although she's one of the newest professors here on campus, she's definitely one of the most involved. I have her down in the studio today to tell us about her job. Hi, Dr. Fulton, thanks for joining me today. Hey, Cammie. Always a pleasure. So this was your first semester teaching at Clarion. How was it? It's been fantastic so far. This is the first time I've had freshmen in probably three years, and it's been fabulous working with them. Everybody in my intro to video class is just so enthusiastic, and they're having a great time. I also have the studio production class as well as the um, post-production class. So it's interesting to see the higher level students as well and take what they've learned in the past and kind of just help them to get to where they need to be to get the jobs that they want. Very cool. Well, obviously you're very involved here in the communications department. What types of things do you do? 
everything. <laughs> so basically on my day-to-day -day life, I deal with student questions, I deal with advising, I deal with helping people figure out how to edit, I fight Final Cut on a regular basis, and I have also have been fighting Premiere lately. I feel like we go on a crusade every day, me and the students against whatever technology we're trying to contend with. <laughs> Sounds about right. Well, you seem to have a lot on your plate, so what's a typical day of yours like? So depending on the day, I either started off with a bunch of meetings. So we're talking getting here probably at between 8 and 9 a.m. If I don't have any meetings, I get to sleep in and I get here at 10. Um, throughout the day, I'll have my classes, my office hours. About 12,000 people stop in to talk to me during office hours. Um, in addition to that, I then come down and I work with Eagle Media Productions at night. So we do the news on Tuesdays. Um, we also have Scott's Eagle Media Sports Lounge, which I affectionately call Sassy Scott Sports Square. <laughs> um, they love it. He hates it. It's fantastic. <laughs> but we do a lot of work together, so the students and I are always just kind of taking playful jabs at each other. So, you know, we keep it lighthearted. We're here all the time with each other. So we have to get along in order to make Eagle Media work as well as it does. <laughs> right. So what's your favorite part about being a communications professor here at Clarion? The fact that every day I'm doing something different. So like today, I came in and one of the guys from Computing Services and I, Tyler, were working with the TriCaster because last night we had a power outage, <laughs> which was pretty entertaining because you never know what's gonna happen whenever you're broadcasting. Mm -hmm. Like we knew that there was a transformer that was out and the transformer was out while I was on my way here and we were just talking about the transformer and saying how, you know, the transformer is still in the process of blowing up and no sooner than we finish that story, the transformer took out the power here. So that was interesting. And we actually were able to take a lot of our students out and do reporting. So we were able to get Adam Davis and Jenny Wisniewski out to do a field report while this was going on. So we were able to then upload that to our Facebook page because miraculously, anytime the power's gone out, the internet is still been here. So we were able to show that to our viewers and let them know what had happened. Very cool. Well, Dr. Follin, thank you so much for joining me today and thank you for all of your help here at Eagle Media. Dr. Fulton is one of the busiest and most helpful professors in the communications department. She works hard with her students to help them succeed. Thanks to her, we can make shows like this one. Next up, we have Paige Newcomb, who is going to tell us about her experience at the Veterans Day ceremony. I never felt all that special. But in the wake of an earthquake, we can all do something. When donating goods, it's hard to know what's needed. So now it's my turn to help. Aid workers can spend me locally, or I can help save lives. Someone is doing better because of me. Together, we made that happen. You think getting dumped by text is harsh? Try getting dumped by tennis ball. My ex owner drove me out to the woods, yelled fetch, and by the time I bought the ball back, he was gone. Yeah, I was pissed, but the folks at the shelter helped me let go of my anger. I learned coping skills, like taking it to the hole. Boom! Now I'm ready to fetch again. But how about I throw and you run and get it? There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Last week, students, friends, and family gathered in Carlson Library to honor Clarion veterans. Let's have a look. <laughs> Last Wednesday, Clarion hosted the Veterans Day Ceremony in Carlson Library. 
Members of the university's ROTC program took part in the ceremony. Important everyone is, has a valuable contribution to share. And, uh, Assistant uh, Professor you know, Mr. Joseph Krosky welcomed everyone who arrived at the event. Clarion President Dr. Karen Whitney also spoke at the ceremony. Well, I think veg a Veterans Day ceremony is important because Clarion University as a public university is dedicated to the community, the Clarion region. Clarion region is a region that has a proud and long history of service to the country, particularly through military service. So actually it fits who we are, it fits our culture, it fits our commitments uh, to the region. It really it, it fits who we are. We're, we're courageous, confident Clarion. And I think military service, public service for the greater good, really cuts to this my notion of what it means to be courageous, what it means to build your confidence in service of the common good. And, and, and the way I look at military service, we are here, the people who serve the military are here to protect our country. And I think of no greater service than that. So it's a small way that we can appreciate the folks who have served. And also, we've got great students in our ROTC program, and they're preparing to serve. So that's why I'm here today, and I couldn't be more proud. Uh, yeah, I, was, I loved how today's ceremony went. It was good seeing as how Clarion hasn't ever done something like this. Like, they have the free lunch, and there's things around town, but the university hasn't actually ever done anything. It was nice to be a part of the planning phases of it. After Sam Richardson led the group in the Pledge of Allegiance, keynote speaker Mr. David McFarlane got up to speak. He spoke to the group about his time in the service. McFarlane is the Director of Scholarships and is a retired major for the U.S. Army. I am honored to have been asked to say a few words on Veterans Day. Um, I'm honored to be representing my fellow veterans to say thank you to a grateful university and community. It's truly moving to know that our willingness to serve our country is something valued by our friends, neighbors, co-workers, and families. Each branch's song was played and veterans from each branch were asked to stand. The Veterans Day ceremony was a very touching way to honor the veterans. show. Join us next week for another fun-filled episode of See You Weekly. Have a good night, Clarion.